pay y'all. So I've just got a lot on my mind. I got this drink over here. I know I told you on the last video I was working out and shit, trying to get stuff together. So this is my first drink I had in like a couple of days other than a glass of wine, but I don't really count that because I mean, pregnant women can have that um, in moderation. But at any rate, this is my first drink drink. So I just want to do a late night rant. Uh, it's a lot of stuff going on and I just got to get stuff off my mind. Y'all know I use my YouTube as my little di diary journal, whatever you want to call it. But at the end of the day, it's just a lot going on. And y'all see, I got the video just hashtagged up because I, I didn't even know one specific thing to talk about. So, um, sorry, I was um, telling somebody good night. But at any rate, there wasn't one specific thing really for me to talk about. I just, I, we just got to go all in. All right. So, I titled this video, Dear Black Community, because, you know what I'm saying, I'm watching how people are responding to the Surviving R. Kelly, you know, series, along with how they're responding to, um, you know, other celebrities are responding, you know what I'm saying, they're, you know, finally cutting the cord, even though they've been around him before, whatever, I guess they gotta save face. And then you have some who've never worked with him. And you know what I'm saying? Maybe they used to respect him, but you have some like six lack who shout out to him. You know what I'm saying? I mean, he was, he kind of went at him. You know what I'm saying? But he was, he was pretty much like, fuck R. Kelly. <laughs> and I can't remember what else he said, but um, I, he, he earned the follow from me, from this shit. Cause I was like, oh wow. Okay. But um, yeah, nonetheless, um, you had um, many people, some people, you know, people are pretty much divided. You know what I'm saying? On the situation. But I don't even want to just discuss that. I want to discuss, you know, the R. Kelly's, the Kanye Westeses, and the overall bigger picture, you know what I'm saying, that I want to get to. And the biggest picture, you know, that I can see here is in the posting that I want to post, why the fuck do we continue to coddle black men in our community? And I say that as a black man. But why do we sit here and continue to coddle our black men? You know what I'm saying? I want to give shout outs to Kev on stage um, and Chance the Rapper. You know what I'm saying? They put it so, so straightforward. You know what I'm saying? And I like that they spoke out. You know what I'm saying? And it's also, you know, it's a weird pattern that I've been noticing is you find colorism, colorism more so in dark skinned men and light-skinned women more than anything. You know what I'm saying? Like, light-skinned men don't tend to, you know, Kevon, you know, he might be brown skin or whatever, but he tend, he looks pretty fucking light to me. You know what I'm saying? Um, Like, th th he looked pretty fucking light to me. And then Chance the Rapper, he light-skinned. You know what I'm saying? So it is also a pattern I've noticed in our community. It usually starts within, or it usually mainly resides within light-skinned women, um, who either are insecure or maybe the dark skinned girls in school used to pick on them because whatever, whatever the fuck happened, or you know what I'm saying, dark skinned men, you know what I'm saying. But oh, that that ain't nothing. I'm checking my phone, my bad. But I, I just, I, I this this whole, you know what I'm saying. We we're getting to a point to where for me. It's just becoming too much. Like, I was like, earlier, I was like, I was on the phone with my friend, and I was like, I just want to throw my fucking phone. Like, I don't even want to, I don't want to be here. Like, it's, you know, when you see real life situations happen, you see people's sides come out, and they real true selves come out. You know what I'm saying? You got people over here victim blaming. You got people over here on the, they trying to take down the black man train. Bitch, we seen him piss on a fucking 14-year-old girl. Now, don't get me wrong. I am the first person to antagonize white people. I love it. I love doing that. Because at the end of the day, I'm like Andre Johnson on Blackish, the character played by Anthony Anderson. I see racism in everything because it's there. It exists. It isn't everything. Racism isn't everything. Hell, it's in fucking porn. It's in fucking porn. Anytime you see a little white girl, you know what I'm saying, whether it's an incest theme or cute little stepsis, you know, the incest shit aside, the adjectives that they use, cute, 
this, that, and the third versus if it's a black woman, ebony, ebony whore, you know what I'm saying? Hell, we do that with our own, you know what I'm saying? If With our own shit, you know what I'm saying? Even the amateur shit, you know, I won't watch a lot of that shit because you got, you know, couples up here, you know what I'm saying? Um, and shit, black couples, and you know, it's, uh, black thought, you know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. We do it to ourselves, you know what I'm saying? But in fucking porn, of all places, porn. It's in fucking porn. It is everywhere. Hell, I was talking to my friend one day, and we was drinking or whatever, and we was just kicking it, talking shit, and I was like, bruh, why you think the color of the road is black? And we laughed, you know what I'm saying? But, I mean, hell, it... If I wanted to, I could find an issue with it everywhere. And that was a joke, you know what I'm saying? But then again, hey, it may come out to be true. If you look it up, why is the color of the rose black? If you want to get technical, it's easier to see a white road than it is to see a black road at night. So I don't know why the hell we would make all the roads white. You know what I'm saying? But nonetheless, you know, maybe there's some racial history behind that. Maybe there's not. But there's a lot of areas of life where it exists. You know what I'm saying? I love that tiff that meme of Tiffany Pollard where she, you know, she's standing up and it says, why do you try to have to put race in everything? It's a white girl. And she's touching her on the nose and she's like, because it exists or whatever she says. It was funny as fuck. But at any rate, you know what I'm saying? Um, I am the first one to call racism colorism out when it's there, when it is there. That is the key terms. Now, with that being said, I will call out the fact that, you know, I've had this talk, I've talked to my parents and talked to other couple of people. I will point out the fact that the fact that this is being covered by Lifetime does say something because keep it honest, R. Kelly's not really that mainstream. You know what I'm saying? Like white people know, I believe I can fly. And they might, they do know the remix to Ignition. You know what I'm saying? They know that much. But any, you know, all, he's never been a mainstream artist. So I will say Lifetime covering it yeah, there may be motive behind them covering it, but at the end of the day, there are a lot of people who do things with the, you know, not the best motive, and it produces a positive outcome. At the end of the day, these survivors, the ones who are telling the truth, not the, you know, the questionable ones like the Drea Kellys and the Kitties, you know what I'm saying, but the ones who are actually telling the truth and really, you know what I'm saying, went through some shit. Uh, uh, and I'm not saying they didn't go through some shit. I'm just saying they, they are, there's something not clean in the buttermilk there. Like Dre Achille was listening to his music, if I'm not mistaken, a couple of days ago, or I seen a video of her listening to it a couple of days ago. If that man, if somebody tried to beat me, the last thing I'm going to do is hear their music. That would piss me off. You know what I'm saying? Um, it, it, it just kind of makes, a, you know, survivors. I don't want to say victims. I want to say survivors. Survivors, you know what I'm saying? look like jokes you know what i'm saying people do certain things and you know it, it's been going on for forever you know what i'm saying r kelly's not the first person to you know what i'm saying do shit like this you know it goes on in our fucking community you know what i'm saying you got fucking uncle uh uncle travis over there touching on niecy you know what i'm saying touching on niecy and saying oh girl you've gotten so you know uh you feeling that your figure and da 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 shit like that is not cool bruh it's not fucking cool you know what I'm saying? And I like how Kev, you know, he put it, you know what I'm saying, such a good way. You know what I'm saying? We raise men to be predators, and then we raise women to have their guard up immediately. You know what I'm saying? Watch what you dress, or watch how you dress, watch what you wear, you know what I'm saying? Watch how you dance. You know what I'm saying? All that stupid shit. And then we sit there and parade men, you know, oh, you dating girls already? Oh, y'all ain't kissing? And then we sex shame them. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you ain't hit that yet? You know what I'm saying? Stupid shit like that. And that's probably, that's one of the my, my biggest things with why I don't hang out with a lot of males nowadays. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't want to, that's, I was never that person. You know what I'm saying? Like, pillow talk is for bitches. You know what I'm saying? And I hate to say bitches. Let me say women. For females. That's a female thing for me. You know what I'm saying? Like, if we're really close bros, like, or bros, you know what I'm saying? If I consider you that... In the topic, because if we drink it, we may come up, it may be talked about, but I just wasn't one to pillow talk loudly. Let me say that pillow talking loudly. You know what I'm saying? That's a female, more of a female thing to me. You know what I'm saying? I see as day by day goes by, the line between male and female is not as blurred as we think. And some people just, it, it looks like some of the way that the, 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 some of the way that some of these fucking men act nowadays, it looks like some of y'all just happen to be born with the penis. The way Tiffany Haddish explained on The Breakfast Club, she pretty much said, you a bitch with a penis. That's it. 
pretty much verbatim. She said she was explaining the way the penis forms and this and the third. I look at a lot of men and I just see that. You're just a bitch with a penis, pretty much. So it, it just, you know what I'm saying? It, it astonishes me. You know what I'm saying? I was talking to my neighbor and I was like, you know, at the end of the day, I may not have the deepest voice. You know, I'm not, I've never claimed Barry White <laughs> to be re my relative or to resonate in my voice or vocal range. You know what I'm saying? I may have a, you know, slightly, you know, I feel like, you know what I'm saying? It's gotten deeper over the years, but I may have a slightly higher voice than most men. You know what I'm saying? I may carry myself different from other men. You know what I'm saying? I may not be your average man, you know, machismo. I'm not going to sit here and watch sports. I'm not going to sit here. That's not my thing. I'm artsy. I like music. I like shit like that. I'm not going to. So I'm different. And I've accepted that I'm different from other males. But one thing that I know that I won't ever have to do as a man is say, I hope I don't have daughters. Because all the revenge and the or all the karma that I put on women years ago is going to come back on me and come back on her. You know what I'm saying? That's one of the saddest things to have to do as a parent. You know, you see all these fucking dads on Love and Hip Hop, Peter Guns, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I don't know about DJ Self, but Peter Guns is definitely one. Rich Dollars, you know what I'm saying? You see them doing all these women dirty. Uh, oh, now you got a baby. Please don't be a daughter. That's one of the saddest things to ever fucking do. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, I was talking to my neighbor and, you know, the truth of it all, you know, when it comes to, you know, supporting him, as far as I'm concerned, he's been canceled. He's been canceled. R. Kelly has been canceled. Kanye West has been canceled. Uh, Lance Gross has been canceled. If you don't know about the situation, go look it up. It's, it's a, a group of his friends took a picture. Him, the way it happened with the picture, it's him and two other couples, and then it's a black girl just off to the side on the picture and she don't even look it looks uncomfortable it looks uncomfortable and when black women brought that up to him he gaslighted them he no I was over it so him you know what I'm saying um he's the reason why I haven't watched the um when love goes wrong Felicia Blakely movie you know when I withdrew my support withdraw my support I withdraw it him uh Waffle House H&M these are not hard decisions to make at the end of the day when somebody slaps you in the face and a slap to me, the way that I am built, you know what I'm saying? Just like I said, I may not be the manliest man, but when it comes to my community, if you slap one of us, you slap all of us. But so whether it was a black man who was arrested and shot or who was um, wrongfully killed in a um, police situation or whether it was a black woman, I feel pain regardless. I feel pain for the Yasmin James situations, the Yasmin Jameses of the world and the Sandra Blanche, just the same way I feel pain for the, um, damn, I can't remember his name, but I did do the video on him, the basketball player who got stopped and a whole bunch of police cars just got called, pulp, called over to him, you know what I'm saying, at the gas station. I feel pain, the same amount of pain for him as I do for those women. It's no different. You slap one of us, you slap all of us. That's how I feel. You know what I'm saying? I'm a proud black person at the end of the day. Every community has their qualms, this, that, and the third. My thing is, do not shove stuff under the blanket. I don't like that. I'm not one of those people. I have my own secrets just like everybody else. But when it comes to our community, we do it too much hold hand, hand holding, hand holding of black men. And I don't like that shit. I don't like it at all. The fact that we're still debating if Kanye West is a thing and the fact that, and then you, it's hand holding of black men. You know what I'm saying? It's not women. It's not women. Like any black woman who thinks they're on the same level as a black man, just retire that thought altogether. It's not fucking true. Nobody goes in and out of their way to protect a black woman like they do a black man in our community. It's fucking sad. Kanye can sit here and wholeheartedly support a man who is clearly racist, a bigot, and everything underneath everything but an angel of God. And you can sit there and say... Oh, anybody that voted for him, I ain't fucking with them, da 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 this, any other. Oh, he should die. We can sit here and say he should die. They said the people have wished death on Trump. But Kanye supporting him, oh, well, you know, let's da 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 That doesn't fucking make sense. You sound insane. It does not make fucking sense. I've been canceled his ass. To be honest, 
you're up here doing all this shit. You're clearly pushing for a man who has a hateful agenda towards our people and who doesn't care about anybody except the upper class rich white people. It's very obvious that that's all he cares about. And he don't care about who's middle class feelings or poor people feelings, for that matter, that he has to hurt to help his class of people. That's who he cares about at the end of the day. You sit there and help this man push this agenda. You, I don't, I can't remember if you visited him in the White House, but you visit him, you campaign for him, or you know what I'm saying, you support him in his campaign, make it known, <clears throat> make it known, this, that, and the third. You know what I'm saying? And now you want to cry mental health. I don't like that shit. And let's, that's another thing. We need to stop weaponizing fucking mental, mental health, okay? Stop doing that shit. Both ways, you know. Don't go after somebody if you know they got something going on. But other people who got something going on, you still got enough sense to know what the fuck you're doing. He know what he was doing when he was tweeting all the damn tweets. You know what I'm saying? Hell. I, I just, I, I can't, I can't. The levels of bullshit. The things that some of these black men and these celebrity in these, in this, you know, that we've seen in 2018, it cannot continue to happen. It will be the detriment of our whole community as a whole. You know what I'm saying? If we don't start calling people out and holding people accountable, at the end of the day, do I believe Lifetime had a fucking motive for surviving R. Kelly? Ooh, excuse me. Yes, the fuck I do. But with that being said, does that make it right? Does that make it right? Does that mean we don't talk about it? Because at the end of the day, and I was talking about this with my neighbor, and she was like, if they didn't do it, though, who was going to? Who was going to? You know what I'm saying? I... And I'm just a different person now. And with that being said, that was the only thing I could find agreeable with any any people who are trying to defend him. I don't think Lifetime should have been the one to report this. But in fair t- chance, she also said, who was going to do it then? You know what I'm saying? BET has broken a couple of stories about them. But even that dude, I can't remember his name. Start with a T. I think it's Terry Tario, something like that. He said when he interviewed R. Kelly and the girl um, about the whole, well, what do you mean by teenage girl? You know what I'm saying? He interviewed, when he interviewed him and, and they said that they cut that interview. You know what I'm saying? They aired it that one time and never aired it again. You know what I'm saying? So we weren't going to talk about it. So somebody had to at the end of the day. I don't really give a fuck who it comes from. You know what I'm saying? Um... At the end of the day, he's a disgusting, vile man. Anyone that chooses to support him, especially, and let's get on this real quick. The whole, can you separate an artist from the artistry? All right. <clears throat> now, my question to that is, to an extent, or my answer to that is, to an extent, yes. Once you go into crossing territory of breaking laws having to do with children, then yes, the fuck you can. Yeah, uh, no, the fuck we can't. No, the fuck you cannot. No. First of all, in and of itself, okay, you want to remove the artist from the artistry, right? If you go back, even in that documentary, they stated a lot of those songs that he is writing is about, is about Aaliyah, is about this girl, this girl, all these underage girls. He's clearly talking about what he's doing with them. His name was the Pied Piper, for fucking sakes. We seen him piss on a girl on um, videotape. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to sit here and uh, allow any white man to, you know what I'm saying, uh, the white man, you know what I'm saying, to brainwash me into, you know what I'm saying, going at my brothers and sisters, you know what I'm saying? But I'm also not going to sit here and allow you to make it easy for them and then me sit here and defend you because you're black. You know what I'm saying? There are black kings and then there are Negroes. And R. Kelly is a Negro. He's not a black king. He just happens to be black. That's it. I'm tired of that shit. I'm so fucking tired of this shit from black women and black men. I'm so tired of this shit. You over here posted up with a blunt and, and Celine in your cup. Just because you, you're not a black king. You're just a nigga. That's it. A nigga making some bad fucking decisions. That's it. And there's nothing wrong with calling somebody out on their bad decisions. We should want to better our community. Now, with that being said, R. R Kelly clearly has some mental problems. But like I said, we need to stop weaponizing mental health. You know what I'm saying? I I did not like that. I didn't like that at all. I did not like that at all. The fact that we are going to say, and then you even have people going as far as say he was molested and that's the cause of his behavior. Bitch, I was raped. 
I'm not going around raping people left and right. That doesn't that that matters. It plays a key in it, but it does not matter at the end of the day. And a lot of these fucking people, if I turned the mirror on them and said, "Okay, so what if it was your daughter or your son?" And you know the sad thing is, you do have some bitches who would be like, "Well, you know what? If the money is good, you do have a few of them." I don't know if they would actually say that. You do got a few portion of them that would say that. But a lot of y'all wouldn't be fucking talking if that was your child in that situation. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not going to sit here and make it look like people haven't tried to stop him. Because I know, just like I talk about Drake, you know what I'm saying? How he's paying off people to kill these women who he's having sloppy random sex with. And he's not as nice as his image tries to put out. Or as he tries to portray his image. A lot of these niggas ain't shit. That's what I'm coming, it's coming down to. A lot of these, like, I just seen a video the other day of Lil Wayne talking about, um, oh, she 15? Oh, you ain't hit that yet? Now, granted, Lil Wayne was canceled for me when the whole thing happened with Regine. Um, now, I do believe as a parent, you should be the only one able to talk about your child, but the whole dark skin thing, and it, uh, it, I was, I didn't like that. You know what I'm saying? Same thing with Kevin Hart. And then to be honest, a lot of these people making colorist comments and shit, they're not fucking funny or their music's not that fucking good. Lil Wayne, as of old, is great. He is great. I can't take that away from him. I don't know about the new album. I haven't listened to the new album. It's very sweet that he put his mother on the new album. I heard about that. I still won't give it my support because of what he said. That's called holding people accountable for their shit. At the end of the day, yes, policemen, uh, white people, the white man, Yes, there are some of them out there to target black men, and that's what they want to do. But you sitting there making it easy for them is not going to, I'm not going to sit here and defend your dumb ass. When you sitting there giving them your ass to kiss or your ass to kiss their bullseye on their gun, I'm not going to sit there or they, the red dot on their gun. I'm not going to sit here and defend them. And I'm not going to sit here and sit here and be quiet when I have a platform when I can talk about this shit and be open and candid and be honest. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people is being dishonest. You know what I'm saying? Rape culture is a thing. We do sit here and oftentimes blame the victims. And it's usually women. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of people don't even think that boys can be raped in the first place. You know what I'm saying? That's not something that people think. But it's usually women when it comes to that. Oh, you need to watch what you wear. This, that, and the other. Now, am I saying that, you know, things like, okay, Amber, Amber, Walt, um, Amber Rose is a slut walk. Am I saying that necessary? Excuse me. That necessarily, you know, is the answer. No, I'm not. You know what I'm saying? Um, am I saying things like that are the answer? No, I'm not necessarily saying that. I think there's a better way to present that. Although I do get her message. And at the end of the day, I can give her props. She's doing something. And that bitch ain't even but half black, a third black. Like, I mean, hell, she, she's trying. You know what I'm saying? She need a little guidance. I'm not going to lie. Um, and, and some of the shit that she says is dumb, but at the end of the day, I can give credit where credit is due. You know what I'm saying? She's trying to help. And she, unlike, you know, real feminism, because real feminism is not a white, it's, it's for white women. It's not for all women of color. So real feminism, that's, feminism is it, to benefit white, white women. That's it. You know what I'm saying? So I do will say that she's including everybody else, unlike feminism, because it doesn't. That is for white, the benefit of white women. And they want to be equal to their white male counterparts. That's it. But nonetheless, um, you know what I'm saying? I'm just, I'm, I'm so tired of this. You have these half-ass woke people, half-ass informed people. Bitch, just because you get on fucking Google, Google don't give out MDs. Google don't give out associates and bachelor degrees. Now, I'm tired of that shit. I'm, I'm fucking tired of that shit. I'm tired of people... Uh, thinking because you Google some shit, you you uh you a principal now or something, or you a professor. I'm tired of that shit. I seen this nigga the other day. We was talking yesterday, and he was trying to. What, what, he was on Twitter. I was talking about it with my neighbor. What shit did he say? Let me see if I can find it. I don't think I responded to it, so I probably won't be able to find it. But he was like, um. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of people calling R. Kelly a pedophile, but the definition of pedophilia is adults being attracted, attracted to pre-pubescent pre children. I googled what age puberty starts for females. 
it begins at 11 and ends by 16. Biologically, females age 16 and up are full-grown women. Now, there are stipulations and all that shit in there. There are stipulations and all that that rides into or run into Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Meek Mill is, is, uh, I need him to stop. Somebody take his phone. But at any rate, um, with that being said, um, with that being said, I'm sorry. What was I saying? Oh, yeah, yeah. Now, there are stipulations in there. There's actually a word, um, I can't remember what she said. It's for the age range that R. Kelly is going from is going uh, or, or started from, you know what I'm saying? And I, and I also pointed out to her, um, he, he, hebophile, there we go. It's a hebophile. Those are the ones who go for, they will not go for children who don't have at least tiny breasts, you know what I'm saying? Or at least a little hair downstairs, you know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. They look like enough of a woman. That's the name for R. Kelly. But you know, when we use pedophile nowadays, that's what we refer to. Just children in general. We don't get specific like that. So nonetheless, let's not sit here and act like just because this nigga gra finally graduated to 19-year-olds, that oh, that girl in the video was a 14. You know what I'm saying? I don't, like, that's the shit that I'm talking about. The going out of the way to fucking protect a black man. The things that we, he can do no wrong whatsoever. We coddle the shit out of him. We sit here, you know, grandma braids you know, baby girl's hair or mama does and says, you know, um, long as he's a good man, you know, he may not have the most money. Why do we tell our black women to date down? Why do we do that? Why? Why do we tell them to eat the shit of black men? That's what you're doing. You're setting your child up for failure. And it's disgusting. I'm so tired of a lot of this shit that we try to sweep under the rug. You can't sit here. Everything can't be the white man's fault. You know what I'm saying? I understood what Chance was saying with the indoctrination of what he's saying. But he's also owning it and apologizing. That's the part that a lot of you black men is missing. Y'all just trying to jump on the, oh, it's the white man's fault. Oh, the white man did this. No, bruh. It's when you own up and then you change your fucking ways. That's why he has redemption. You know what I'm saying? But I just, I, I can't. I can't. There's so many quarrels and, and things with this you know that's going on with this situation and just other situations in the past and just 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 the world we're living in where we as a people would instead of choosing to better ourselves we want to stay stagnant and coddle you know what I'm saying but with that being said back to what I was saying just like how Drake puts out um this a nice boy era he's not really that though you know what I'm saying? So let's not sit here and act like people haven't. I'm sure there are people who tried to come forth with R. Kelly. But let's also be honest. How many people are willing to fuck up their paycheck? You know what I'm saying? Like, they, there are assistants who are getting girls. He has assistants. Go get me a girl here. Go get me this. They're going to high schools. before, Even before he was famous, he was going to high schools and getting girls. You know what I'm saying? So now he has assistants and stuff doing this. So... All those people in his camp need to be thrown in jail. I highly and firmly believe that. You know what I'm saying? Because the involvement and the blame is on all of them. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, there's some things you just should not be willing to do for a paycheck. Even though I understand. There are a lot of us who won't fuck up their paycheck. Hell, I am one of the most courageous people in my eyes for what I did in leaving my last job. The fact that people were getting off on multiple fucking nights three hours and two hours later than they were supposed to be just because you started off getting drivers out late. You know what I'm saying? I worked at Domino's on military base, but just cause you started getting the first driver out late, that don't mean just cause this bitch leave late. All of us got to leave late. You know what I'm saying? But the fact that that was going on, you know what I'm saying? The fact that I'm probably going to go into my own little rant about my, uh, my ex job. So y'all just hold on tight. <laughs> but, um, the fact that shit like that was going on, you know what I'm saying? The way that they talk to people, 
You know what I'm saying? The way that they, you know, got their drivers prepping all the shit. We're the only dominoes um, out of a franchise, out of anyone else around in the Augusta area, Grovetown area, that the drivers prep, the twist, and all that shit. You know what I'm saying? Then he talking about having uh, my GM. He talking about having more drivers or all the drivers do everything. So basically, you want to pay your insider shit. They don't make as much as the drivers do. And you want to make us do all their jobs for nothing le- nothing more, nothing extra. I have a problem with that. I left. I made the decision to leave. Did I have a job after that or before that? No, I did not. Sometimes it don't work out like that. Fortunately, I'm in a situation where I don't have, I didn't have to have one before. Sometimes you have to make means till you can't. But I, I just, I want us to want better. You know what I'm saying? I felt so proud in making that decision. I chose not to stay in dysfunction for a paycheck. You know what I'm saying? And that's why I'm side-eyeing a lot of these people in his camp. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, he's not the only artist you can manage. Like, I'm not going to lie. I, I like the artistry side of music. You know what I'm saying? I like writing. I like, you know what I'm saying, creating music, thinking of little, you know, let me do this with the hook. Let me do this. I'm very creative. But if I was an a and r manager, or a and r or a manager or whatever, and my client tells me he wants some high school girls or some middle school girls, bitch. I quit that day. You're not the only artist I can manage. You know what I'm saying? And and I'm also saying that because I did say, you know, uh, let's keep it real. A lot of us ain't going to fuck with our paycheck. But even in that, and, I, and even in that sense, R. Kelly's not the only artist that you can manage. You may run the risk of him trying to blackball you, but at the end of the day, is that worth these girls' violations? of privacy on your head every night because you have to sleep with yourself at the end of the day we all into this world you know what i'm saying when you win well i mean i'm a homebody but when we enter out into the world you know what i'm saying whether we move in out from our parents house or you know what i'm saying whether we just still living with them whatever when you leave out the side of the house you have to live whatever and you come back in the house and walk back inside whatever you did you have to live with that for the rest of your life and one of my goals in life is to try to be okay with what I've done in life. And so far, I've tried I've tried my best. And most, some things I still can't make peace with. You know what I'm saying? We all have demons and skeletons in our closets. But I ain't never in my life did nothing with no underage girl. And I'm so glad I can say that shit. You know what I'm saying? And I feel disgusted, especially as a victim of abuse. I feel disgusted at anybody trying to defend him. For any fucking reason. At the end of the day, Lifetime aired it. I don't give a fuck about attacking the black man and this and the other. I don't even claim him. We need to get to a point to where we are okay with cutting the rotten fruit off of our tree. That is one of the biggest problems with black people. Some outrage occurs. We sit there. And guess what the sad fucking part is? A fucking, you know, this documentary, I think it's on part two came out. So I think part three is coming out. You know, now I don't know. I'm not watching it. I don't want to watch it. I already know what I know about him. I already cut him off. I don't need to know anymore. I've known enough. I know enough to cut him off. The fact that he wrote age ain't but a number for Aaliyah, I didn't know that. But that's nasty. The fact that he wrote that with her in mind, and he's also in the background of that album cover. And that's another thing, Aaliyah's mom. I got to holler at you real quick, but we're going to go there in a second. But... You know what I'm saying? I know what I didn't know that. I didn't know that. I think I knew that they was married. I didn't know how young they were when she was married. I didn't know that he forged the documents. You know what I'm saying? And let's stop acting like just because somebody's black, they don't have power to do shit like this. He is a black celebrity. He is not the same. Excuse me. He's not on the same par and level as a you or a me. Neither are Jay-Z and Beyonce. This, that, and the third. You know what I'm saying? I love Beyonce. I love Formation. You know what I'm saying? She still, she really good, might got some hot sauce in her bag swag. But when Beyonce walks her black ass into something and I walk my black ass into something, we're going to be treated two different ways. If she says she wants the whole venue cleared out and she ain't going to pay for it, uh, if she wants the whole venue cleared out now, she don't want nobody in the restaurant, she just want her and Jay to eat, they will do that. And they won't comp her nothing. She won't have to pay for shit. If I want that done, First of all, it's not going to happen right then and there. And second of all, I'm going to have to come back and reserve it and probably have to pay for the number of seats that we want clear too. You know what I'm saying? Unless I throw in something extra or work out some plan with them. You see what I'm saying? So 
stop acting like people with status, you know what I'm saying? Just because they're black, they're so handicapped and so held back and this, that, and the th- I'm tired of that shit too. You know what I'm saying? It's just a whole bunch of shit that's going on. It's a shit show. It's a whole shit show. And we as just consumers, we need to think smarter, be smarter. When somebody, I don't need to sit there and like, I don't know what else more y'all need to see. Y'all, I don't know. Do y'all like, y'all need so much proof and evidence. Do y'all want to see him fucking these girls? Would y'all like him to videotape? Would you like this 49 year old man to go and videotape himself um, penetrating a 14 year old girl? Because I believe some of y'all could see a video like that and y'all would still find any way. Hell, he could post his dick up tonight. And then let a video emerge. Let's say he got a tattoo on it, something. I don't know. Hell, maybe he got uh, Leah's name wrapped around it. Hell, I don't fucking know. Let that shit be in that video. He got a mole. I don't know. Hell, he might probably got an STD or some. She probably got some crabs. He probably got a little bit of everything. But let's say there's a, some type of marking down there that allows us to know that is R. Kelly's. And he posts that damn picture. Tomorrow, a sex tape could drop after he posts that shit tonight. At, uh, it's 1.02 a.m. right now where I'm at. But it's 1 or 2 a.m. right now. Let's say at 8 a.m. A, a sex tape drop and it's a man in pre- uh, uh, penetrating a 14-year-old girl with the same junk as R. Kelly. Y'all will find any fucking excuse. Oh, I didn't see his face, though. You know what I'm saying? Bitch. What more do you need? What more do you need? That's my question. What more do you need? And when will it stop? When will we stop and say... We need to do better as a people. If we have people, you know what I'm saying? And it's 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 very weird. It's very fucking weird. You know what I'm saying? Like, we can do it with certain people, but certain people, they just, oh my gosh, no, no, no. Like Ben Carson, I don't know too many black people came and Dr. Ben Carson. You know what I'm saying? There are plenty down the line. I don't know too many people came, uh, claiming Bill Carson, uh, uh, sorry, Ben Carson. You know what I'm saying? And the only issue at the end of the day, the root issue of this all is we need to look at how we do our black women. Because at the end of the day, Bill Cosby asked, hell, he got away with what he did for a while. Do I believe all them bitches? No, I don't. Now, with that being said, he went for white women, though. It took a while for his karma to catch up to him. But in the end of the day, he's in jail now. He's in jail now. Why? Because he then was white women. Them was white women. That's the only difference. R. Kelly going off to all these black women. I think I did see one, maybe Latina, but you know what I'm saying? They don't care too much for their ass either, unless she's next to white. I mean, she was pretty light, but you know what I'm saying? It ain't the same. They, 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 they white people see color. The system. See, even if white people don't see color, let me tell you something. This would important. It ain't important that white people see color. Or black people, whomever wants to claim they don't see color. This sounds so fucking stupid. And if I was a blind person, I would feel, or a colorblind, I would feel insensitive for you saying that shit. But nonetheless, it don't matter who the fuck sees color. It matters that the system sees color. It matters that the systems put in place and indoctrinated in us see color, which causes us to then see color. You know what I'm saying? We need to do better. At holding people accountable when they do shit. If a rapper says some colorist shit, he need to be canceled right there. It don't matter how fucking good of a lyricist he is. If a comedian says some shit and they some colorist shit, it need to be canceled right there. You know what I'm saying? And I know damn well the Oscar scene when Kevin Hart made them dark skin jokes. If we respected our dark skin women and held them to the same degree that some of you niggas hold these quote unquote red bones. Hell, Kodak Black, fuck a black bitch, I want a red bone. He was canceled as soon as I heard this shit. Your shit is not even that fucking good for you to be making comments like that. Like, hell, if you was on the level of uh, Ice Cube, you know what I'm saying, actually dropping some bars. Now, keep in mind, I didn't hear the last album. I'm pretty sure it's good, though, it's Ice Cube. But I didn't hear the last album. But I'm saying if you was on the level of Ice Cube or Kendrick or J. Cole, you might could get away with saying certain shit. But it, it astonishes me that Kodak Black is still a thing. And his main supporters are black. Unlike Lil Yachty. You know what I'm saying? Lil Uzi. I think they, they pretty much got a good mixture. It's still some black people fucking with them. But overall, they fan base is white. However, Kodak Black, that's black people right there. That's black people. That's black people. You know what I'm saying? Suburban, you hood niggas. The same hood niggas that's sitting there blasting Kodak. If he seen your black ass sister, 
the words that he would say to her are not nice at all. And you still okay with listening to his fuck ass music. You know what I'm saying? Which is doing nothing but rotting your brain. You know what I'm saying? Somebody got to say it. I'm going to say it. Hell, half the shit that's out right now is trash and garbage. So when trash and garbage makes trash ass comments and we still want to sit there and coddle them and hand, hold their hand and shit, it make me sick. I don't fucking understand it. I don't. I don't. I don't. I do my best to keep stuff in context. I try to, you know, let me follow up and see what else they said. You know what I'm saying? Like with the whole Cardi B situation. Yeah, she called that one black girl a roach. She didn't call black women a roach, roaches correct, collectively. And then also, I seen Remy Ma call that let girl a roach. I'm pretty sure that's a New York thing to call somebody a roach. I've heard a New York person from New York refer to somebody as a roach before. That was darker than them. Or no, 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 no. It, they weren't darker than them. But nonetheless... It's a, it's, I, I, so I am to assume that's a New York thing. Should she have done it? No, I don't think so. But at the end of the day, she's also referred to herself as a roach. This, that, and the third. Um, you know what I'm saying? As far as, you know, I just, I don't even know. We just, we just just fast over a whole bunch of comments. This is a long ass video. I wasn't trying to make this long ass video, y'all. I'm sorry, because this melatonin is never going to seep in if I let y'all continue to run my blood pressure up <laughs> but um actually this drink got me feeling good so it <laughs> mm. all right but i'm sorry back to what i was saying um you know i i'm not against calling up the rotten fruit tree you are the rotten fruit on the tree you know what i'm saying if y'all want to continue to let this shit grow y'all do that on y'all own i'm done with robert kelly I'm done with Lil Wayne. I'm done with Drake. I'm done with, been done with Kodak Black. I really been done with all these niggas. I'm done with Kanye West, Lance Gross, uh, Gilbert Ass Renas. You really fucking tried it. Hell, you wish your wife was half as pretty as Lupita DeYoungo, that man face looking bitch. Um, Laura Go Man. Uh, let me relax. Um, hell, I can't think of no more niggas right now. Did I say Kanye? Hell, I might have need to say that twice. But, um, at the end of the day, we need to do better as a, uh, uh, as a people, my people. You know what I'm saying? Don't take this as no malice. It's just, it is what it is. It is what it is. Colorism is very real. Racism is very real. Just because there is a system in place, that doesn't mean we can't do anything to change it. And that doesn't mean we have to stay victim in the mindsets that it has created in us. You know what I'm saying? Men, instead of us sitting here trying to, excuse me, and another good point that Kev touched on, he said, I need to keep an equal energy in between my son and daughter when it comes to dating. I don't need to sit here and be, or, well, he don't have a daughter, but he said, men, we need to keep an equal energy. It don't need to. And that's one thing I've noticed that I haven't liked. You know what I'm saying? Um, uh, uh, that I don't like. You know what I'm saying? I don't like fathers who are ready to cock the shotgun. You know what I'm saying? When their girl decides to start dating. But when their boy does, it's, oh, yeah, man, and high fives and all shit, bullshit like that. You know what I'm saying? That's one thing I don't like. If I can give, you know, I, I have issues with my family, but if I can give my dad, one good thing is that he's never been that type of father. You know what I'm saying? My sister was able, now, this is a bit weird to me. You know what I'm saying? But she was able to have her boyfriends come in the house. We would talk to them. You know what I'm saying? As far as I'm concerned, in my opinion, I would only want that happening with my daughters and sons if I decide to have children. If y'all are trying to get married but nonetheless the fact that she felt open enough to come to them and say hey this is so and so that is nice in and of itself but i just i, I would prefer that for somebody you're marrying because if you're not trying to marry them then why the fuck am i talking to them you know what i'm saying i would still want to know who they are but they don't got to come over here we can just meet them out at a place you know what i'm saying but nonetheless um i will give my dad that he's never been that cop the shotgun you know he's made little jokes in there but you know what I'm saying? Once you, you push your child, the further you push them away from something, that's the more they're going to grasp onto it and hold on. And you know what I'm saying? I, but nonetheless, um, I do want to shout out Kev for, you know what I'm saying, making that a point too, you know what I'm saying, in his video. I, I just, 
I don't know what to. I'm burned out. I'm burned out. It's it's too much bullshit going on in the air and stuff. Like, all these energies. My third eye is constipated. I'm so serious. But, uh, I, I think that's all I really wanted to rant on. I see this video approaching 45 minutes. I don't think I've ever posted a 45-minute video. So, let me go ahead and end y'all off with a good night. Let's take another sip of the drink. All right, there we go. I'm going to go get this hair done tomorrow. All right, okay. I will catch y'all on the next video, though. I hope I didn't talk y'all ear off too much. Um, Comment down below if you actually listened to the whole video. I want to know if anybody did. But, yeah, um, I will catch y'all on the next video. Thank y'all for listening to my late night rant. I just had to get this off my chest. And I will catch y'all on the next video, though. Bye. Oh, and new music on the way soon. But, yeah, bye.